Welcome to this Blender tutorial. In this series, we're going to be learning how to make a little animated car. Um, we're just going to make a little simple um, 3D model of Postman Pat's car that you'll be able to drive around on a textured environment. So in this first tutorial, you'll learn how to make the, the model. Um, and then after that, you'll learn how to put the textures on um, and then how to, to make it move with all the controls. So the final thing that you're left with will be a little um, animated Postman Pat van that you can drive around. Obviously, if you spent more time, you could either make your own cars um, that were much more detailed, or you could download and use somebody else's models. This is just something quick and simple to get you started. Okay, so the first stage um, is to start a new... Um, a new Blender file, it's worth downloading the keyboard shortcut sheet uh, and working your way through that. I'll try and mention them as I use them. Um, if you push your mouse wheel in, um, you'll be able to move around. Um, and if you scroll, obviously you can zoom out. And then hold down Shift and mouse wheel in. It lets you pan around rather than um, looking around. <clears throat> okay, there are two modes that are useful to, to use in Blender. Uh, you switch between them uh, with the Tab key that's above Caps Lock. So you've got the object mode where you can see all the objects in there and the edit mode where you can edit a particular object. Um, and we're going to turn this cube into a Postman Pat um, shape. Okay, so we'll select and in Blender you select by right clicking and useful keyboard shortcut is A which toggles either everything or nothing. So pressing A to toggle all. Okay, so I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to press tab to edit. And firstly, I want to drag out a bit at the front of the van. Um, so I'm going to press Control and R for a loop cut, and I'll click in the middle, and then I'll click again around about here. Okay, and then I'm going to drag out this face here, and um, it's going to make the bonnet of the um, Postman Pat car. All right. Um, so I'm going to change the view so that I can see it side on. Press A to deselect everything, B for box select, and drag this little bit here. That's now selected four vertices. A vertex is a point in 3D space, um, and I want to extrude that or drag those bits outwards. So I'm going to press E, and I'm going to pull these out here. Now that's basically going to be the shape of the Postman Pat um, van. So I'm going to press Tab. Um, another keyboard shortcut that's really useful is Z. Z toggles the wireframe mode. It's useful to be able to see everything um, and turn, turn wireframe off by pressing Z like so. All right, next we want to add some, um, some wheels. So you left click to be able to move the 3D cursor. That's the circle and the cross thing. Sometimes you have to change the viewpoint and click a couple of times. I want it to be where one of the wheels will be. It's not the end of the world if it's not in the right place. Um, but it would be nice to have one roughly in the right place. That will do for now. OK, I'm going to press Shift and A to add, making sure that I'm in object mode. So Shift and A. And I'm going to add a mesh and a UV sphere. That will just add like a, a sphere in here. Um, the wheels that, I'm, that we're going to use don't have to be that sophisticated. Um, so I'm going to turn down the number of segments probably just to, I don't know, 16 or so, because we can make it look smooth later. Basically, the more faces that you have, the more vertices that you have, um, the slower your game's going to be, but possibly the, the better looking it will be. So the, the key to 3D gaming is to use as few vertices as possible, so as few um, points in 3D space as possible, um, but still getting the detail that you want. Okay, so we've got a sphere. Obviously, it's too big at the minute and in the wrong place. So I'm going to press S to scale it and move the mouse in and click when it's about the right size. I'll press Z to turn on wireframe mode so it's easier to see where everything is. And G to grab. Now you can put it anywhere you like and click or sometimes it's useful to move it in one particular axis. Um, so the red axis is the X, the blue is Z and the green is Y. So if you press G for grab you can then press either X to move it in the X direction or Y to move it in Y or Z to move it um, in the Z direction. So I'm going to press G, move it roughly where I think it should be, and then G and Y to move it a bit that way, um, and G, X, move it out a little bit. That'll do for, um, for one wheel. I'll press Z again to turn wireframe off. 
that'll be fine for one wheel. I'm going to press Shift and D for duplicate, and I don't want it to go any old way, so I'm going to press Y before I click, and that locks it in on the Y axis. There we go, like that, so I've got two wheels. Then I'm going to right click and select, so if you want to select more than one thing, you can hold down Shift and right click. Um, and I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate again, and this time I want to lock it in the X direction until it's um, in line with the edge. There we go. And uh, that's going to be the 3D model for Postman Pat. It's not perfect, but it will do. There's one last little thing that will make it look a bit better on all of the wheels. So right click or shift and right click to select them all. Just want to make them smooth on these inspector panels.